Mission 2110 is set in the future, and the adventures you are about to see are controlled by trained professionals. Please do not try any of the missions performed in the show at home. Can anyone hear me? Is there even anyone alive out there? They've taken over. The world is in ruins. I need your help. We built them to be our friends. We built them to serve us. On Earth and worlds far away. But out there, somewhere, something went wrong. They returned to destroy us all. Well, almost. The fight back starts here. With you. This is Mission 2110. The year is 2110. A world devastated by a war with the robots we created. Humanity's cybernetic servants that have all but wiped us out. I am Caleb. Not entirely man, but human enough. It's my job to take on the Roboids, but I'll need help. Help from a different time, 100 years ago. Welcome to Futuregate, the enemy's stronghold and the last battleground for the future of humankind. These are what we fight for, Biorods, a vital power source for the Roboids. So who will help me take them and save the world? First set of recruits. Let's hope this works. Here we go! Well, recruits, you're a strange-looking bunch, to be sure. I hope I've chosen wisely. You, scared, are you? No, I'm not scared. A bit nervous, though. Ah, it's very honest of you. But I'll need brains as well as brawn. And what have you got? Speed, intelligence and bravery. Ah, we will see. But we'll be sure to find out. I've set missions throughout Futuregate to test each and every one of you. And it's not going to be easy, because we're on a boat surrounded by roboids. You, you're an odd-looking one. Where's all your metal bits, eh? Metal bits? What are you on about? I'm just a normal kid. Ah, a maverick, eh? I see. Well, I can only afford to take one of you with me to be an ultimate recruit for the final mission. So tell me, what do you bring to the party? I'm determined and I'm going to defeat the Roboids. That's the attitude. Fantastic. Now, gang, I need all of you to help me seize as many of these bio rods from just underneath the enemy's noses. Well, they don't really have noses. From just under their chin. No, they haven't got chins. From just generally under them. OK, recruits, everyone ready for the first mission? Yes! Anyone scared of the dark? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Unlucky! <laughs> Follow me. Watch your heads and hold your noses, that's it. Bunch together for safety. This is your first mission. I'm not going to send you up against the Roboids just yet. First, you're going to have to deal with the Shades down here in Shade Alley. The horrible, stinky slaves of the Roboids. They do all their little menial jobs for them. You've got to get in there, and you've got to get three identical resistance keys from the canisters hidden along the way. You take the keys, find them with your torches. These torches are about twice as big as Max, aren't they? <laughs> so you're going to get stuck in, find your three resistance keys, take them along to the bio rod box at the end of Shade Alley, and that'll release your first bio rod. If the mission gets too dangerous, or if you run out of time, remember, you've each got a panic button. As soon as you press it, that's you out of the mission. This is your first mission, so I want to see everyone out of this with a bio rod. Got it? You got remember, it. if you let a shade so much as brush against you, if you touch one at all, that's you completely out of the mission. No bio rod for you. <laughs> Mission on. That's it, get your torch on. I remember you're under pressure of time, so get stuck in there. This is your chance to get your first bio rod. Move quickly. We need three red ones, but keep an eye out on that shade. Get that lid back on fast, that shade's fast approaching. I've got the right one. Stay calm, you've got plenty of time. And you've got to get to that last bio rod before the shades close in and cut it off. Is that the right one, Melanie? It's the wrong one. It's the wrong one. Oh, Mel. OK, Melanie, that's 30 seconds to go. Move quickly, but be careful of those shades. I've got it. I've got it. Well done. She's got, she's got the second one. Yes, yeah, come on, Mel. Just quickly. one more. Just one more to go. One more. That's it. You've got to stay out of their way, Mel. Oh, it's the wrong one. 15 seconds to go. You can do it. 
Oh, it's the right one. Come on, Mel. Quickly, Mel. Well done, Melamina. Get out of there, quick. We've only got one more to put in. I've got it. She's got it. She's got the power on. The shades were literally an inch away from me, and I thought, oh, I thought they were going to, like, capture me. OK, Max, you're blue. Get stuck in. Good luck. Mission on. Remember, you're under time pressure here, so get in there. That's it. Get checking out those canisters. We need three identical keys, Max. OK, you're looking for blue ones, Max. Keep clear of the shades. If you so much as touch one, then it's mission over. That's it. Remember, we need three identical ones. Keep talking to me, Max. Wrong one. Wrong one. Definitely a blue one in that first section, Max. Remember to get out of the way of those shades. How does it smell in there? It stinks a bit like you. Oh, thanks a bunch. Come on, here we go. We've got to get a blue one in. Wrong one. Wrong one. OK, that's it. It's got to be the last one, Max. You've got to get that blue one and get a new one. Got it, got it, got it, got it. You've got it. Oh, OK, so get up to the next one. I'm in safe point. OK, you've got to move in. The shade's closing right in. He's going to cut that bywood off. Come on, Max. Come on, matey. Come on, come on, come on. Three, two, one. Got to hit your panic button, Max. Bad luck. Mission over. I would have liked to go on because it's the first mission. I wanted to like show you what I'm made of. I'm disappointed, yeah, about not getting a barrage. Connor, you're yellow. Go for it. Good Be luck. careful. Mission on. This is your first chance to steal a bio rod. It's an important mission. I got it, I got it. You've Good luck, Connor. You've got to decide to go back or forward. Well done, he just got out of the way. Just got out of the way of the shape. Two more to get. Remember, you've got to hold those collars up so you can check them. Check the colours in the torchlight. I got it. Okay, check in well the torchlight, Connor. Excellent, it's another yellow. Now move quickly. You can do this. Just take your time, make sure none of those shades sneak up on you. If you touch a shade, you're out of the mission for good. It's the wrong one. It's the wrong one, OK? You've got one more to get. That shade's moving towards the bio rod box. You have under 30 seconds left. It's the right one. Well done. It's the right one. Well done. That's it. You've got to get them. You've got to stick them in the box there. Pop them in. And then get that button pressed. You got it, great. My tactics were move quick and swift so the shades don't notice you much. And it kind of worked. Hi, Ophi, you're green. Go for it. Good luck. Hold your nose. Remember, you've got to get three resistance keys. Mission on. That's it, torch on. Watch out for those shades. But remember, you're under pressure of time, so let's get a move on. What colour have we got? Tell me what colour that is. Red. Okay, get it back in. Let's move on to the next one. See if you can get another one open before that shade's too close. That's the one. That is green. That's green. Go for it, Iofi. 30 seconds to go, Iofi. Let's make this mission count. That's it. Sneak up behind him like that. That's great. He's turning round. You watch out. The shades are going to be closing in on the bio rod soon. OK, the shade's moving in. Green. Green, fantastic. You've got one more. You can do this, Iofi. You need to move quicker. What can you see? Green. Have you got the third one yet? Three, two, one. Remember your panic button. Get out, get out. Mission over. At first, the shades were quite scary, but after, I didn't think they were very clever, so it was easy for you to sneak your way around their body. Welcome to my home, my lair, my crow's nest vantage point above the enemy. I like to think of it as my resistance command post. From up here, I can look down and contemplate on how my recruits are doing. Well, let's face it, if they can't avoid bumping into a few shades in the future gate engine room, then there's no hope. How are they going to cope later on when they have to come face to face with the roboids? More to the point, how will they cope in my next mission, which is all about hand-eye coordination? I meant to do that.
This next mission is all about dexterity. So who's good at standing on one leg? Go for it. Perfect. And have absolutely no use for our next mission. What you need to do is get into the repair center over there and you're going to come face to face with your very first roboid. But don't worry, he's half the robot he used to be, quite literally, because he's in the repair room for a service. This is one of the drone class roboids, otherwise known as the worker. He's really tough and equipped with heavy metal pincing tools that he can use to make a meal of you if you get too close. Ow. Your mission is to get inside and disarm the three pressure switches on the roboid's chest. For each one you disarm, you can win a bio rod up to a maximum of three. But remember, if you set the alarm off at any point, you lose all the bio rods you've had. So it's your choice whether to continue. Iofi, you're up first. Hold out your hand, let's see how much you're shaking. Perfect, get in there, good luck. Good Iofi. Mission on. That's it, so go for the first rod, that's it. Get the metallic rod. Hold your nerve. Make sure you keep that metal rod away from the rings. <laughs> Fantastic! What are you going to do, Iofi? Are you going to keep that bio rod? I'm going to go for a second one. You're going to go for a second one. Fantastic. OK. That rod is dangerously close, Iofi. Oh, no, you set off the alarms! Get out of there. Get out. Drop the rod. Get out, Iofi. OK. All right, tough luck, Iofi. Max, you're next. Go for it. Go on, let's go! Mission on. OK, Max, we're all behind you. Take a deep breath before you start. Max, make sure you don't trigger the alarms. That worker can deal a hefty blow. <laughs> Fantastic work, Max. You've got one bio rod. Yes. What are you going to do? I'm going to keep it. OK, fantastic. Then come out, get out of the room, come back to us. You've got a bio rod. OK, Connor, it's up to you to disarm that next worker, so off you go. Mission on! What a piece of junk. Right. That's it. Get, in there. get that rod, let's get stuck into those first circles. Stay calm, stay focused. Fantastic work, Connor. Great. Now, what are you going to do? Are you going to stick to that bio rod or try for another one? I'm going to try for another one. You're going to try for another one. Good man. Stay calm. The rings get narrower now, Connor, so you'll need to hold that deactivator rod nice and steady. Stay calm. Steady hand. <laughs> Fantastic. That's two bio rods, Connor. Well done. Now you've got to make the choice. Do you want to come back with those two safe, or are you going to try for a third? It's up to you. I'm going to try for a third. OK. OK, Connor. Good luck. Very brave. Let's hope your dexterity matches your bravery. Narrower still, so this is very tough indeed. Be cautious. No. Okay, get out of there, get out. And I'm sorry, but it's your turn next, Melanie. Go for it. Mission on. Get stuck in. There's another worker out there. You've got to disarm it. Go. Okay, man. Okay, I've got it through one ring. I've just got to get through the other. Okay, that's it. Take your time. Fantastic. Well done, Melanie. Now, you've got one bio rod. Yeah. What are you going to do? Are you going to hold on to it or are you going to take a risk? Yeah, I'm going to take a risk. OK, OK. Stay calm. Stay slow. Ah. OK, get out, get out, Melanie. Get out. Oh, Melanie. You did really oh. well. Tough luck. Well done, Max. So that's one bio rod. There's plenty more left to get. So let's move on to the next mission. Come on. mission was quite tough, yeah, because you had to have a steady hand and I don't really have that. I went for the third one and that close, I mean, oh, I can't believe it. If I'm being honest, I think my teammates were a bit stupid because, like, they all got the first bio rod and they decided to take the risk to try and get the second one and they lost the bio rod, so I was the only one who ran out of the service room with the bio rod, so I'm dead, please. I think my tactics for the next mission will be to take more time to think about it before I head straight into the mission. It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. No, it's like trying to find a needle in six massive haystacks that have been glued together and pushed out to sea. But I am determined to find the power that feeds these nine-foot uglies. Fortunately, it looks like I've selected a cracking team to help me, and that search will go on until I find the ultimate team for the final mission. Of course, what they don't know just yet is that in the next phase of the mission, four of them will become three. I think I'll keep that to myself for now. In the meantime, I've got to find out more about this kid. Who is he? 
Where's he from? Who dressed him? Cybelle! Cybelle, answer me! I'm here, Caleb. They came, Cybelle. Just like you said they would. You didn't doubt me, did you, Caleb? No, no way. It, it's just that people, humans, are okay, they're, they're just kids and, and so noisy. But they're alive. Flesh and blood alive. And remember, Caleb, it is your job to see that is how they remain. These recruits from the past are brave and they will fight to save the future of their kind, but they are untested, untrained. That is your job. I know. But was I like them one time? No metal, no circuits, no implants. Cybele, was this me? The past is a lost world, Caleb. Everything changed when the Roboids turned against us. Who or what we once were is of no consequence. Only who we are and will be. But I don't know who I am. You are strength, Caleb. And you are hope. The rest you will discover when the time is right. Okay, recruits. Here we are in the frozen vaults where the roboids turn human beings into shades. Oh. We need to be quiet, though. There's a guard here, a commander class roboid. Although he can't see us, he can hear and sense our every movement. Your mission is to take four security spheres from the generator, sneak past the roboid who's filling the area with some kind of coolant, and then place the spheres into the console on the other side. It's a four color combination. When you press activate, if you've got exactly the correct four spheres, you'll open the frozen vaults and release four bio rods. Okay, you'll also release four stinky shades, so you'll have to get out of there fast. Okay, I've got the security code here, but I need to know that you guys can crack it. It's a time mission, so you've got several chances to get the code right. Melanie and Iofi, you're up first. Make me proud, recruits. Go for it. Good luck. Come on, Iofi. Come on, Iofi. Come on. Mission on. You have a limited time to secure the correct code, and you have to get all four correct to be in with a chance of grabbing more bio rods. So get a move on, guys. Be careful, that's it. Green, green, yellow, orange. Purple, green, yellow, orange. Oh. How are you doing? Did you get any right? No. Okay, one of you stay there, one of you sneak back past the guard and get four more security spirits. Now get the same colours. Please, quickly, this is Two. a time mission. Purple, green, yellow and orange. Okay, I've got them. Be careful of that robot. Green, orange, purple, yellow. Any luck? No. Both the pink. Time's running out. You've got to be quick. Pink, purple, green, blue. We've got one. We've got one. Okay, move fast. Come, Mel. Come in. You're doing well, recruits, but you have to think clearly and logically. Pink, purple, yellow. No, no, purple, yellow. Blue, orange, orange purple. Activate. Blue. Remember, there are four bio rods up for grabs in the frozen vaults. Uh, pink, uh, yellow, blue, and orange. Pink, yellow, blue, orange. You've got to work as a team. You've got 20 seconds to go, ladies. Pink, pink, pink yellow, blue, yellow, blue. Bring the green, bring the green. 10 seconds to pink, go. Pink, yellow, blue and green. Pink, yellow, blue and green, Mel. Be careful of that coolant. That guard is starting to sense you're in the area. Pink, green, Time out, guys. It's all over. The guard roboid was quite huge and massive and it was hard because we had to be slow when we were creeping around it so it didn't sense our movements. It was absolutely humongous, unbelievable. Mission on! Purple and blue, come on. Avoid that roboid at all costs. If he senses you, he could attack. Come on, come on, Max. Come on, we can do this. You there, you there, you there. All right. Blue. Orange, pink. Blue, orange, pink, yellow. Hit it. Oh, we got no one more. 
It's a four color code, and all four are different. Blue, orange, pink, yellow. Communicate clearly, guys, that's it. Blue, orange, pink, yellow. <laughs> Good, come on, come on, Max. Put yellow, pink, orange, oh, oh, orange. Activate. Hit it. Oh, no, come on, come on. Get a second. All wrong Get again, it. okay? Stay focused. Choose those security yellow spheres orange. carefully. Green, purple, yellow, and orange. Good, come on, come That's on. it, communicate. Right, ready, okay. Put orange green. there, yellow, yellow purple, 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 green. green. Hit it. Oh, oh, all right. right. Time's running out. We've got to be quick. Blue. Oh, no. We're halfway yeah, through the mission. Orange, orange, come on. Oh, no, no. no. Put right. green. Stay focused. Choose those security spheres carefully. That's it. Sneak past that guard. Gotta move on, Jesse. Green there. Yellow, blue, orange, green. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. One more. One more. Go, 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 go. I'll tell you. I've got pink. I've got pink. I've got pink. Time's running out. Remember, there are two fire rods each green up the ground. Green. Yellow. Yellow. There's a blue there. Blue. Pink. Come on. Hit one. Hit one. What else are we around? That's it, guys. You're out of time. Get back here. I think today me and Connor worked really well. Iofi and Melanie, they like, they were more like less talkative than us. They were really less. They would like, were, they were shouting over each other. I think the main way to work with the partner is to like communicate with each other. Be calm. Yeah, we've realised that everyone's not the same. Everyone's not good at everything, and we have to work around that and get it done. Recruits, I'm disappointed in you. We finished this mission with no more bio rods than when we started. In order to defeat the Roboids, we're going to have to start working as a team. The next mission is just the place to do it. Come with me. OK, recruits, this is it. The final mission of phase one. We've got to start fighting back against the Roboids. So far, it's been quite a disappointing haul of bio rods. Max, Connor, Melanie, you only have one each. Iofi, you've got no bio rods at all. Recruits, we have to turn this mission around. This is where we're going to do it, the Future Gate Charging Facility. You're about to come face to face with the most deadly roboid of all, the War Droid. Normally, this metalhead would be armed with a vector beam that could flatten a building, but right now, he's vulnerable. We've got to take advantage of this opportunity. We have to get down there and overload him before he finishes charging and destroys us. So this mission is a race with a difference. It's going to take stealth and logic combined to connect all of the cables and complete the circuit so that when we throw the switch, we slam a bajillion volts into this overgrown toaster and push his cancel button for good. Yeah. OK, recruits, you're in pairs. Max and Melanie, Connor and Iofi. Two bio rods to the first pair of recruits to bring me back his bolts. Go for it! Mission on! Come on then, recruits, make me proud. We've got to overload this Roboid before he finishes charging. Right, there's one, two, three, four. Right, come on, four. Where's Melanie it? and Max, you're connecting I blue cables. Right, um, and there's three. We need three points in one force. Iofi and Connor, you're connecting the yellow cable. This one, this one, this one. You'll get on a lot faster working as a team okay. than you will on your own, recruits. Right. Good communication, Max and Melanie. Yeah. Keep yeah. each other informed. Yeah. Right, um, three. Sure. Don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. Yeah. Okay, three. 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 That way, that way, that way. That way. There are five connections to make, and only one combination will work. Have you got it? Okay, Max. That's it. Push. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, right. get it. That's three points. One, two, three, four, five. Five holes in this one. Three points each. Five holes in this one. Got it, Stay got calm it. and think fast, recruits. You know what's done? Iofi and Connor, choose those yellow cables carefully and communicate clearly. Let's bring this kettle head to the boil. Push, 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 push. This one, this one, this one. Three holes and three holes again. Connect the blue cables in the right order, Melanie and Max. You'll send a surge of power through the charging machine and toast this metal head. I think it's the other way around. OK, Max, Melanie, you're working well as a team. Keep moving. OK. Let's okay, next one, let's go. Five, three. Right, three. Three, three holes here. Connor, Iofi, think fast. Five holes here. Right, you got it in. Hold. Hold. Yes, let's do this one, this one. Got it. There we are. Let's overload this wardrobe. Do the other side, do the other side. 
Get a move on, recruits. In, in. There are. Can you help me do my things? Max Milligan, that's the last connection in place. Come on, let's pull that lever. This war droid's days of destruction are well and truly over. Come on, we did it. Congratulations, recruits. You worked very efficiently as a team, and now you've got two bio rods to prove it. Yes, come on. We did it. Well done. I knew we could do this. We had a good tactic, but when it didn't work as well as we thought it would, and... We didn't talk as that. Yeah, we, we didn't talk. Have, like, um, we could have worked a bit more as a team. We were just like... <laughs> and we were doing it really well. And we, you yeah, can just hear them. When we pulled the lever, you could see the other two, like, having a squad with each other. I think that we were quite good at yeah, we were, yeah. Because we're quite good friends, we can work well together. Hello, I'd like a large pepperoni pizza, please, with pineapple and also a single anchovy in the middle, balanced on its tail. Yeah, the address is Futuregate Psycon Research Facility. I don't think we've got a postcode. Worth a try. Ah, recruits. Didn't see you there. Well, it's been a very positive start, especially for Max and Melanie, who currently rule the roost with two bio rods apiece. The resistance is growing in strength and aptitude, but you ain't seen nothing yet. Are you ready to come face to face with the deadliest of all machines? Are you ready to take on the Vaporizer? The Roboids must be destroyed. They are the enemy and they'll stop at nothing to harm you. If you're brave enough to face the Vaporizer, you will face danger, but you will have the chance of victory. One false move, one wrong step will end your mission, perhaps even your very existence. And that, my friends, is what's in store in the next phase of our mission. The recruits did well today, maybe better than I expected, considering they're a bit weird and sort of noisy. Who knows? I may already have found the recruit that will ultimately destroy the Roboids. Only time will tell. Caleb, you and your pathetic recruits will never succeed in your mission. I will see to that. My Roboids will play with you a little before destroying you with their metal claws. Or perhaps lasering you with their vector beams. Until next time, my unfortunate heroes. Until next time. Time's up. Absolutely delicious. Who's got what it takes to be crowned this year's Junior Master Chef? Starts next Monday at 4:35. CBBC on BBC One. Right, you lot, listen up. As I like you, you can have a go on my beakerizer and find out what you'd look like in my world. You and your friends can even hang out with Tracy in the dumping ground and play as your beakerized self in her extra special games. And if you're lucky, you'll look as gorgeous as me. Just go to the CBBC website and click on Tracy Beaker. Well, go on then. Wicked, check that out. Wow. That was brand new mission 2110. Oh, Do you wow. like that? Oh, yeah. That was wicked, wasn't it? You lot have been emailing in. Let's read some out. We've got one here from Annie. You know, Annie, well, Hello. she says, Mission 2110 was awesome in capitals. I thought it was going to be like a really boyish game, but I liked it as well. So, mm, yeah. one for the ladies there. Uh, by the way, Dodge, loving the robo outfit. So, uh, yeah, this is quite important. This is like uh, to defeat the roboids. Yeah, whatever, mate. Katie in Belfast, that's right, Katie, you will. She says, I for the Mission 2110 was epic. I also like the big robots, like the Roboids, they're called. Uh, and Dodge's laser thing was awesome, by the way. Wait, yeah, see, Katie, told just, you. Uh, it's just a sound effect, Katie, look. Oh, look. Hey, no, it's not. Zap that, laser that. Uh. Sound effect, sound effect. 
Got one here from Abigail. You're right, Abigail. She says, I think it's a great show, uh, but the shades...